Hello, everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, La Resistance. So, uh, I had a poll in my uh, comment section, basically, asking, should we continue on playing as Fascist France or we just restart as a democracy? And about 60% of the votes said we should just restart as a democracy, so that is exactly what we're doing. So, uh, essentially, we can kind of just get started with uh, what we were doing before. We're still going to go basically the same route. I still want to go for the... Um, Little Entente. I think that's a little bit more interesting than just going with um, the British. Because I'm sure the British will get involved no matter what anyways. Uh, we're just not going to invite them right away. We'll uh, maybe hold off a little bit on that. So we're going to build up fortifications across our entire uh, border just so we can make sure that the Germans do not just steamroll us once they get to uh, Belgium here. After that, we'll put uh, some more military factories in Ile de France. So what are we going to do differently this campaign? One is we're absolutely not going to invade Spain, because clearly that screwed us over. Uh, some of the comments were basically saying that because our stability got too low, and maybe there's too many fascist supporters. I'm not too sure why the fascists rose up. They only have 1% party popularity. So if anything, you think it'd be more likely that the, the communists would have risen up, because they would have had much more support. But anyways, anyways. Yeah, we're just not going to try to uh, screw everything over. Uh, and somebody else is also saying that if we wanted to, uh, we can essentially just um, decolonize the entire French Empire. Just we do not have to actually garrison any of this territory. And I kind of, I think I agree with that um, assessment. But if we go to, say, oh, there's a new map mode here, Compliance. Uh, anyways, go to resources. Other than, like, uh, Algeria and Morocco, so probably, like, North Africa we're not going to decolonize. But if you look at, like, most of the territory we actually control, we're not really getting anything out of it. So if we can have, say, Madagascar defend itself, or Gambia defend itself, I think overall that's just going to be better for us. We don't need to worry about who's going to defend all this stuff. So if we go to Occupied Territories, um, definitely not Algeria, not the British Raj. Like Cameroon, Central African Republic, all these people, I think I just want to release them. Right now they have civilian oversight. No garrison, these are, okay, so. Local autonomy. There's so many cool uh, things we can do now, but... Um, like Chad, for example, we're going to release him as a puppet state. We'll see what these actually do. Uh, we'll also release the Congo as a puppet. Thank you very much. Gabon, Guinea. I'm trying to remember where all these places actually are. Lebanon. I mean, is there, is there any resources in Syria either? The answer is absolutely nothing. There is nothing in this territory at all. So why would I even garrison it? It really doesn't make a lot of sense to me, so... Um... Madagascar, I know they don't really have anything that we want. Vietnam, we probably do want to keep that under control. Syria, we can release. Laos, I have no idea what the hell that even is. Togo, Tunisia, Upper Volta. Probably not want to give anything to Communist China, it really doesn't seem like that's... We can release Niger. Uh, Mauritania doesn't matter for what we're trying to do. Again, we're going to keep northern, uh, the northern territories under our direct control. But everything else, I think it's fine. Just kind of given up. Um, Lebanon, we also can just release. Can release this territory down here. I know probably some people would say that this is a dumb idea, but I, I don't think it is. I really don't see a reason... We don't... The homie. The homie is over here somewhere. Same with the Ivory Coast. Um, Upper Volta. Is this still called Upper Volta? I don't remember. We also need to release Cameroon. Mostly just these territories here are the ones we mostly want to get rid of. Um, Laos, Vietnam. Senegal is here-ish, yes. Your Togo. What is this? What, what is what is this territory? You are... No, you're Upper Volta. Okay, it's called... Is it Burkina Faso? 
uh, nowadays. Anyway, release up Revolta as a country. And I think that's basically it. Like, again, we don't want troops over here at all. They can train up their own troops at, on, their, uh, on their own time. So you guys are going to mostly be on the border with uh, the Italians there. But we got to make sure we at least keep some divisions ready to pounce on the Spanish. Just in case the Nationalists win. Uh, we can pull you guys here. All of you guys are going to be on the border with Italy. And I think this is essentially it. Again, we are going to keep um, a handful of people still under our control. Mostly Vietnam. Because we are able to actually core the north coast of uh, Algeria. Who will be in charge here? We'll put you in charge. Sign this general. And is that everybody? Not quite. Um, then we got these guys down here, right? So you are also going to be part of a colonial garrison. Uh, your job is essentially just hold the port provinces. Again, ports are really the only actual important provinces. Because otherwise, uh, the chance that they could actually get supplies. If they navally invade. Because we're probably going to go over Japan. I wouldn't be surprised by that. But we have just created a ton of new countries. Again, they should all be puppet states. They are fantastic. Uh, maybe that's also going to uh, do some new stuff when we, uh, like, an occupied territory. Or if we, like, manage subjects. No, this looks about the same. So maybe there's been no real change there. But anyways. I mean, Luxembourg's not defended. But there's guys staying on either side. Which so should still be a-okay. I feel like my mouse is somehow more sensitive than it used to be. But either way, we're going to start pushing our way up to this river. You guys are going to push your way through Belgium. Yeah, you guys go here. You're going to push your way to Egypt. And essentially, you should more or less be good. Um, I'm still hoping that some of these guys will start training up their own divisions. And even if they don't... Like, who cares? I don't really care that much. Because they're essentially all completely worthless. I mean, it could train troops with their manpower. So either way, I think this is actually still better for us. Yeah, no, everything's, I think, is going pretty okay. It's a good place to start. Um, I think this time we're going to try to immediately ban the, the fascist leagues. Because hopefully uh, they will not rise up against us. That's, that's what we're trying to avoid now more than anything else. So that we do not want our government to get overthrown. Generally, I think that works out uh, in our favor. So Spain, I'm sure, is going to go... Um, they're going to have their civil war soon. They're not going for the popular front. So it looks like the, the nationalists are going to win. Negotiate some Carlos supports. We'll, we'll see what happens there. Last time, there was, what, a five-way Spanish Civil War? It was absolute insanity. You know, people were saying, just send volunteers and not directly intervene militarily. Definitely seems like that is the better choice for us. Uh, we do what's, what's nation building do? Just stability and democracy support. What's their stability at now? I mean, they're fine for the most part. Their stability is a little bit low. But it will go up once we actually form the Popular Front. Do we want to ban the leagues right away? Honestly, I think so. Yeah, because we're not going to revive the Nationalist block. I still think we're going to confirm our Eastern Commitments. Try to make our little Entente as large as possible. Well, what? What do the British do? I'm not too sure. Like, I don't know how you would actually ever get Britain to agree to do that. So you are support of communism, some popularity. I mean, getting women suffered seems pretty good. There's more political power gain, but there's going to be a lot of communist support. And again, we don't want to... 
become communist. Reconciliation. And you're what allows us to actually join the, the British. It's top of government war. I've never seen that. There must be a new way. Uh, a new thing. Okay, military, uh, the Rhineland's been remilitarized. We knew that was going to happen. Did I not select anything? I don't think I did the whole time. That's my fault, but that's not a huge deal. Again, we want to get off of civilian economy as soon as possible, but we need 15% war support, which we definitely do not have quite yet. We'll go for the research speed upgrade. Oh, we also want to start forming an agency. Uh, let's go now for this yelling tiger. 29 days. Spy on the Germans if we can. I mean, we probably, yeah, we do want to spy on the Germans the most, I believe. We don't know what they're doing right now. Um, what the 49 divisions? Like, could you beat the Germans right now if we were to somehow go to war, uh, over? If we went over the war over the Rhineland, I think we probably could have won. But there's also a decent chance that we would just have a, uh, an immediate civil war. Because I think the communist start a civil war if you actually go to war Germany right away. So obviously, we do not want to do that. We definitely do not want to disable this man the Maginot line. That would be absolutely terrible for us. Absolutely never do that. Started our agency. Um, we also now want to... Uh, enemy military is paramount. We need five of these to sec hire a second agent. So what do we want to do first? I mean, the army department just seems to be the best one. You know, actually, let's go for the decryption first. It's going to take eight civilian factories. So our industry is being hampered quite a bit by doing this. Public demands rearmament. Um... Yeah, uh, the ongoing war approaching our borders has loomed, uh, at many voters against over France are prepared to being... Yeah, I mean, war support goes up. Yeah, let's just go immediately into early mobilization. Thank you, French voters, for, uh, allowing me to do what I needed to do as fast as possible. So we get concentrated industry. Um, if for some reason we end up screwing this up again and we either switch to communism or to fascism, we're probably just going to continue on as that. Without doing another restart towards uh, democracy. Ban the leagues. I mean, we're going to get negative 8% stability. But I believe through um, all the Spanish Civil War decisions I was taking, we were like negative. Or we were at like 15%. So it could be a lot worse. Do you get stability? You do. If you get the communist ministers in charge. Strengthen the unions. I don't think we really need, um... Can I get my uh, linguist again? A seducer. Infiltration effect. I mean, he's just good at his job. But the linguist... Yeah, I, I think we just want the linguist. And you're going to start building an intel network in uh, West Germany. And we also got to begin some ciphers. Yeah, so we're going to uh, cipher against the Germans. And immediately go for the uh, military intelligence. Because we need to know what Germany's doing more so than any other country. What Italy's doing, eh, it's kind of important. But once we get Czechoslovakia, Romania, and Yugoslavia, and hopefully Poland into our alliance... Forcing war early, I still think is probably in our best interest. As long as we can uh, not fuck it up. Definitely one of the most important things is to not screw up terribly. What do we need to do to become the Re European Union? Control all Dutch states, all Belgian states, Italian, German. So we need to annex a bunch of territory. Do we get cores on it as well? 
So, oddly enough, not on the low countries, just on Italy and Germany. But that's okay. So, Italy is getting quite stronger. It is a little bit worrying, I will admit. So, you guys are still looking pretty good. How much more stuff do we need to actually be at full supply? Our manpower is looking good. Missing about 1,000 rifles, but that's more or less it. A little bit of light tanks and a little bit of artillery, but... When will that be resolved? Uh, a little bit over two years, so... I mean, it's still a while, for sure. And we, don't, we don't know what the allies are doing. Our tree is actually not very large. Triumph in Africa. Don't claim Yugoslavia. Okay, so Spanish Civil War has begun. Do you, I... I mean, I want to intervene because I don't want the Nationalists to win. Also, we built up all of our uh, fortifications. Fantastic. You know, let's go... Let's go up to four on this. We'll go to two on our border with the Italians. Are we being a little bit defensive? You know, don't build these yet. We'll see you actually win the Civil War. The answer is, yeah, we're probably being a little bit more defensive than normal, but France capitulates so easily that we don't want to die after, like, you know, an episode into the war. Okay, so we're going to reform some labor laws. Our stability is at, um, 56%, so I think that's okay. Devalue the franc. Negative 5% stability, but you get our stability back up. Building slots... At Stusfine Factories and Metropolitan States previously in Oh, okay. Oh, for those two, okay. I believe, unless we do this one as well. Building slots. I mean, that gives building slots to um our puppet states. Okay. So if you do all of these, I believe that's, that's going to be a ton of free civilian factories. Two research slots are nice. And adding two military factories, that's going to... Seems pretty good. I mean, what is that? Two, four... Oh, well, it's one, two, three, four... Five and six. That's six provinces. Each getting... So that's 24 civilian factories and 12 military factories across the empire. If we do all of these, which seems pretty good. But also, we probably want to begin rearmament and probably go for the aggressive focus as well. Um, Intervention in France or in Spain. Because we cannot do that on our own, right? We can only do that 50% uh, world tension, so... I've got to still intervene. Even I'm just not going to go balls to the wall and actually invade uh, Spain to try to get them to win, but... You know, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Uh, free military factories. We still need more rifles, that's really the thing we are lacking in the most. Our factory's looking pretty good. Looking pretty, pretty good. Like, we should be very, very well defended to the point where I don't think Germany's going to be able to break through any of our lines, which is very important. We, we want to be defend as defensive as possible. We are a, you know, a weak little turtle who needs to hide in a shell for as long as humanly possible. We can intervene in Spain. Um, What's over here? Anything? Naval and air focus, garbage. Don't care about that. Ability plus 5% would be nice. Political power gain going up by 0.25 also seems really good. Two civilian factories in Normandy. 15% more recruited population as well. I want that factory output too. 
That's going to give us a ton of military factories. A ton of military factories. Or Paul, But I need to do... I need to get the Little Entente going. As early as... I mean, when did, when did they invade Czechoslovakia? It's like 1938, right? We probably still have two years. So you, we, we, we got time. Defensive focus we're not going to do, even though I built a million uh, forts. Air dominance. Battle of Maneuver. Research speed goes up 10%. Better tanks? Division attack plus 10%, though. It's pretty good. But I think we're going to nationalize key industry first. Get these four, mil or four military factories. Remove inefficient economy. What's that penalty doing for us? That's pretty bad. So probably getting these four done first. Oh, then there's eight civilian fa- There's so- This is a pretty good tech tree. Pretty good focus tree, I should say. Definitely not a tech tree. But... I don't- It seems to be pretty good. That is a ton of factories we can get. And hopefully we can- Are we at least beating the Germans in terms of how many factories we have? Uh, I have no idea. Definitely not military. They have way more military factories than we do. Um, civilian, we're about equal on. So we are at a disadvantage. We need to militarize ASAP. Intervene. How do you want to intervene in the Civil War? Okay, we got, just got three technologies done. Let's go for... I mean, it's still 1936. We'll go for radio. We will go for... Excavation 1. And then we will go towards... Where's scout planes? Because I know those are new. Yeah, they're down here. But we need the 1936 fighters. Probably want those guys as well. Allow nine. So these are... Yeah, because we look at negative 25 stability right away. But we don't actually even need to do any of this stuff. We can just intervene... At 25% war support. I do not want to do it with the Soviet Union. Because like, the Soviets are going to support the Republicans. And that's who I care about more. Right over to the non-intervention committee. Are they already sending people there? Yes, they are. The Soviets are already supporting the... Spanish. Or the Republicans, I guess I should say. What does this do? The answer is I don't know. But I'm kind of, my 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 heart says just military invade Spain again, but this time don't take all the negative penalties. Well, first things first, you know, let's allow, I guess it's a war support to join in. Let's allow the non-military aid to begin with. That's 100 support equipment. That's almost all of my support equipment. I mean, are you taking up at all? World tension. I mean, do you give us uh, any uh, war support? No, you are? Four military factories, though. I don't really see anything. That boost non-core manpower would be nice. Urge immigration. Or France indivisible. Referendum those various parts of the colonial empire will be held. Some parts may choose to be fully independent. I mean, it's a little bit too late to do that, considering the fact that I've given most of them independence already. Or nominal independence, made them puppet states. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, give a thumbs up. If you not enjoyed, call you some down. If you want to subscribe, and goodbye.